Welcome everyone to the Vion Podcast. Today, we're doing a bit of a deep dive into something. Well, really surprising. What if the things you think are totally silent, like uh, the plants around you, are actually talking? Or making noises, at least. It does sound a bit sci-fi, doesn't it? But yeah, the research we looked at is pretty clear. Plants aren't silent, especially, you know, when they're under some kind of stress. Exactly. That's the core thing. They're emitting sounds, actual sounds, just not ones we can hear. Right. The studies call them airborne sounds, so real sound waves traveling through the air, specifically ultrasonic waves. They seem to happen when plants are, say, short on water or if they've been physically damaged, like cut. And the frequency is just way up there. The sources mentioned, what, 20 to 250 kilohertz? Yeah, that's the range. Which is incredible when you think, I mean, humans, we usually max out around 16 kilohertz, right? Yeah. Maybe 20 if you're young. Exactly. So this is happening in a whole other sonic realm. Okay, so if we can't hear them, <laughs> who can? Does the research suggest anything? It does. The thinking is that animals like bats, mice, maybe even some insects, they likely can hear these frequencies. And there's even a hint, kind of an intriguing idea, that maybe other plants are tuning into. Hmm. Plant-to-plant -plant communication via sound. That's yeah. something else. So what do they actually sound like, if we could hear them? Well, the researchers, um, this team at Tel Aviv University, they recorded them with special microphones. And then they processed the sound, you know, pitched it down, sped it up so we could get a sense of it. What's the verdict? It's described as these very short clicks. Someone said, a bit like popcorn popping. Popcorn. Okay, not exactly songs then. Definitely not singing. Just quick little clicks. Pop, pop, pop. And I thought it was pretty smart how they used um, AI. Artificial intelligence. Oh, yeah, that was key. They trained algorithms to not just detect the clicks, but to tell the difference. Like, uh, is this a tomato plant or a tobacco plant? And is it thirsty or has it been cut? The AI could apparently distinguish. That implies the sounds aren't just random noise. They carry information. Seems like it. And they quantified it, too, like an unstressed, happy plant. It makes maybe less than one click per hour. Super quiet. Okay. But a stressed plant. Thirsty or injured, it could be making dozens of these clicks every hour. Dozens. That's a huge difference. A clear signal then. A very clear increase, yeah. So when you think about this for you know, for you listening, yeah. It kind of changes how you might see a plant, doesn't it? Absolutely. They're not just passive green things. They might be um actively broadcasting their condition. Yes, yeah, signaling their needs or stress levels, maybe to the insects or animals nearby in this whole hidden soundscape. It really makes you wonder about the complexity there, this yeah. unseen, unheard layer of communication in ecosystems. Totally. So the big takeaway is plants might be audibly signaling their stress, just not to us, mm -hmm. at least not directly to our ears. We're only just starting to listen in, really. It's fascinating stuff. Well, that's all we have time for in this deep dive. Definitely stay tuned for more intriguing stories like this one coming your way.